All right, guys, today we're gonna be talking about some knives that are good for different applications. These are kind of my go-to knives for these different types of applications. And I think that this is where EDC kind of stands out. And a lot of people may say, you know, why do you have so many knives? And part of that is I like to collect knives. I think they're fun to have, fun to own, fun to take pictures of, and fun to use. And I think they're just really cool, you know, mechanical items that you can spend hours taking apart, sharpening, and kind of figuring out how they work. And all all of them are a little bit different in their own right. So definitely there is a kind of collector's element to it, but also too at the same time, there's a reason why it is handy to have multiple different types of knives because each everyday kind of situation or activity isn't going to necessarily just have one knife that would be best suited to it. So if you are going to have multiple knives, you'll end up finding that they can be some excel at different things better than others. So for the first kind of area, Area. And this is where most knives will be, but I'll just pull out a few for kind of points of reference, and that is going to be general purpose. So for me, one of my favorite general purpose knives is the Chris Reeve knives or CRK Large and Cozy. This one, of course, has the micarta inlays on it, but this is just a general purpose, really nice um, general purpose blade for doing you know general things primarily, you know, processing uh, cardboard boxes, opening packages, you know, just doing everyday life things that are, that having a knife, a sharp knife would be really handy for. Now, one of the primary reasons I do like the CRKs, as I've said in a few videos and before, you know, I think that these knives are just really so timeless and good looking, whether it's a Sabenza or an Inkosi or even other knives by CRK. You know, I think that the blade overall is just a really classic looking blade so it looks good in a wide variety of situations and circumstances so that really lends its hand to being a good well-rounded or kind of all-around general purpose knife so for me that's why the number one pick for general purpose would have to be a Chris Reeve Chris Reeve knives in Kosi now the second one for me is going to be a Hinderer XM18. Now maybe not as classy, a little bit more flamboyant looking, potentially definitely a little bit more tactical looking with the very flared out finger groove finger grooves and front finger guard but this flipper is just one of those that once again it's really hard to go wrong with it does a lot of things right and it's a very comfortable knife reasonably lightweight reasonably sized for doing a wide variety of tasks and so I really do think that the XM18 is one that I love to carry not only because I like XM18s but I think that they are really versatile knives in addition to these you can get in a number of sizes as you can with uh, the Chris Reeve and Kosi's. You can get them in like small and large sizes. So depending on what you need, I do have like a, a three inch XM18 for a smaller carry option or for a smaller carry option. And so I have the larger one for just more, a um, little bit more broad or a little broader carry kind of uh, options. So anyways, you know, these blades, you can get them in a number of flavors to fix to fit your needs and to do whatever you need to do. So that's kind of my first category. The next one for everyday carry that I think is reasonably practical would be athletic or like going to the gym, you know, just working out, doing stuff like that where, you know, your clothing situation is going to change quite a bit in that regard. So, you know, this is a larger, heavier knife and while not heavy by any means, this is definitely larger, thicker, and you're not going to really be able to throw these in, you know, a pair of shorts or kind of baggy sweatpants, you know, it's not really going to work as well in those regards but if you're going for a run you know and also in addition while it is lightweight you know if you're going to go for a run a lot of jostling is going to you know potentially disturb the knife or once again with loose loose fitting clothes it will not be the most comfortable thing to have something you know jostling around in your pocket so the next kind of fit or the next so the next kind of application is going to be athletic. And for me, the number one knife for doing things like running or working out is the Benchmade 535 Bug Out. And that is because this is an incredibly lightweight knife coming in at under two ounces, if I remember correctly. And so it is very small, reasonably sized. So it's not a super small knife, but super, super lightweight. Now, once again, you do give up some things. Obviously you can't have a knife this long, you know, with this wide 
side of a blade and it still be so light. So, you know, the, the stock of the blade is very thin. The stock of the handle is very thin as well. So, you know, it is a little bit of a thin knife to hang on to, but it is very purpose driven for being an extremely lightweight knife. And I think it does that very well. And overall, I think that this knife is one of the better options when it comes to workout slash athletic um, kind of carries because it still has a very practical, nice wide drop point tip. Of course, mine is the Blade HQ exclusive, so it does have CPM 20 CV as the blade steel, but uh, the normal ones come with S30V. So either way, you're getting a pretty darn good steel and overall, like I said, a good size and general purpose, well-rounded knife for doing things for doing different tasks. If you do need to open packages or do any everyday carry kind of lifestyle stuff, this knife will handle those situations just fine. But at the same time too, it is super, super lightweight. So that is why I like it so much for an athletic carry blade. Next one up for me for athletic carry is going to be the Spyderco Spidey Chef. Now the Spidey Chef might not seem like an immediate obvious carry, but for me, a lot of athletic things such as snowboarding, um, or once again, doing any kind of physical activities, you're gonna be sweating, there's gonna be exposure to moisture and wet and damp environments. And so I really think that the Spidey Chef, while kind of oriented to be a chef's knife, is actually a very rust resistant blade. So it is also conversely very handy for working out because it is well adapted to exposure to moist environments. So this is a really good choice. In my opinion, I really like it for an athletic knife in addition to it is definitely heavier than the previous mentioned option but it really isn't that much heavier i believe this thing comes in at around three three and a half ounces and it has full titanium handle scales and they are very slim very trim so a little bit thicker than the bug out but very slim knife and once again very well adapted to being rust resistant it's a very non-intimidating uh, everyday carry blade. So if you do end up having to pull it out in you know, more populated areas to cut something open, you know, you're not really gonna be scaring people with a blade like this. It just looks very unopposing and unassuming. Okay, so next one up on the list and going to essentially the opposite end of the spectrum. So we just talked about lightweight, unassuming, kind of un or not scary knives. We're going to go over to concealable slash kind of defensive knives. So these are going to be the more scary knives on the list. So the first one up is going to be kind of two knives, and that is going to be the Microtech Ultratech uh, Double Edged. So the first one here is my USN uh, Gathering kind of limited edition or signature line of the Ultratech. Once again, this one is double edged M390 and uh, with the G10 kind of show side on it. But this guy definitely is more defensive. Now, I do sometimes carry this one straight up for everyday carry because it is legal to carry, legal to have here and, you know, like open boxes with and stuff, but it is definitely more of a defensive knife. Next one kind of in a similar lines is my other Microtech Ultratech double-edged, but this one is definitely more self-defense oriented with that fully serrated top side and uh, just really aggressive jimping, or not jimping, really aggressive tri-grip handle scale on this one. It is just a super aggressive, super mean blade. And uh, this one's definitely more for defense and very easy to conceal both of these guys for everyday carry because they uh, can, hide in pockets. They can hide just about anywhere. They're very slim, very easy to hide. Next one, Next one up is going to be the Half Face Blades Extremis Mark I. And uh, this guy definitely is, once again, easy to conceal, easy to hide, and very much for self-defense. Really cool blade. I do like this one quite a bit, and it is a fantastic um, addition for, you know, kind of defensive knives. Now, once again, all of those knives are definitely more uh, aggressive, more defensive. And once again, that can be a role for everyday carry, not necessarily something you should always have or pride yourself in having, uh, you know, the, to need always, but it's nice to have a few defensive knives in case you have the need. The next one for me is going to be outdoors. Now, outdoors EDC blades are kind of limited for me because I do have my own outdoor knives. I have many outdoor knives indeed. And, you know, I used to do a lot more outdoor kind of knife reviews. 
so I have no shortage in outdoor blades for use. But the one for me that does tend to see actually a lot of action in the outdoors and, you know, for more recreational kind of the side of things like hiking and exploring is the Strider SNG. And the primary reason why the SNG tends to see, and the primary reason why the SNG tends to see more of that outdoor rugged life is because the SNG is really kind of prided itself and built for um, hard use applications. Not necessarily outdoors, but, you know, it has a fairly thick blade stock, as you guys can see there, definitely thicker than most blade stocks. Um, Hopefully you guys can see there. You know, it's not like substantially thicker, but definitely noticeably thicker than most blade stocks. And on top of that, it is uh, the S30V of this blade is rocks a lower heat treat for better ability to take more abuse, more hard use instead of breaking or cracking or chipping. In addition to that too, um, the handle is actually built very rigidly. Like this whole kind of show side of the handle on SNGs is milled out of one piece of G10 to help with the structural rigidity of the handle. Now I'm not saying that this is the type of knife that you would baton through a rock or you know do some crazy extreme thing with, but definitely there are a lot of attributes to the Strider SNG that make it more of a hard wearing, hard use kind of blade. And so this one tends to be my go-to outdoor EDC or for outdoor EDC applications. And that's why you guys have seen it a lot in pictures featured with like the Chris Reeve Knives Pacific that I carry is because I do end up usually having this in my pocket while using things like the uh, CRK Pacific. So anyways, guys, that is the, uh, outdoor the primary outdoor blade other ones could be pushed into it especially the extremist mark one by half face blades uh, that would easily fit into the outdoor lineup but this one is what ends up actually seeing the most out of my edc collection time in the wilderness all right guys that is that wraps up the kind of use applications for these different blades hopefully you enjoyed the video as always god bless and i'm out